Hi guys, Sick Motion here with another uh, patch note opinion review. Um, this is for patch 4.17 as you can see here. Uh, funny thing about this patch is I didn't even realize it happened. I wasn't streaming that night. I came on the next day, there was some stuff changed and people were all talking about it. The Victor and Soraka reworks are in here and I, I didn't even realize they were live. So there was a lot of confusion and chaos with it, but um, Eventually, I was like, oh, yeah, there's a patch. I better do the patch note review on it. So we'll start off with the Soraka and Victory Works. I've tested out the Victory Work once on live. Uh, I am not a Victor player myself, never was. And uh, so I didn't really notice the difference um, between the old one and new one as much as someone that plays the champion a little bit more would. But from what I experienced, I think he's pretty crazy strong. The augment on his E, uh, a line skill shot, if you can hit that when the minions are walking in, uh, it's basically like a mini rumble ult on the minion wave. It doesn't leave anything lasting, but it's uh, line damage followed by line damage, which really just destroys minion waves. So it's really good for farming. It'll be really good for defending sieges, and I'm sure it'll be really good for sieging later on as well. Uh, his Q is really strong in the fact that... Um, the bonus damage on your next auto scales with the level of your character, not the level of the skills, so you can get one level into that, and it still keeps doing increased damage. And when you augment his W later, it's basically a mini Orianna ult, uh, a lot of cool things with that. Um, but like I said, I don't play Victor that much, so I'm I'm assuming he'll sh see some more play now, though, because he was pretty much forgotten about. Uh, Ambulance Soraka, uh, kind of cool. It's weird that she can't really heal herself without a target for her um, other abilities. So she ends up killing herself more than anything, so you gotta gotta be careful about that. But her heal's very, very spammable, and the, the trolley, I need to get here quickly because this dude's hurt, is pretty funny to watch. Uh, they changed Cassiopeia recently, and everyone was like, oh my god, she's gonna be so strong, and then she wasn't. I think I was even one of the ones thinking she was gonna be so strong, but her AP ratios got really wrecked on in compensation for the fact that she gets a bunch of free AP, so it kind of just balances out in the end. Uh, her mana costs are pretty extensive, so the base mana um, buff will be really, really nice. Uh, 0.1 AP ratio buff on Q, which will also go really well with her passive, um, giving her AP for free, basically free death cap passive. And this was pretty annoying. Um, I didn't realize this until my last couple games on Cassio, then I just stopped playing her. Twin Fang was supposed to reset to 0.5 seconds, when you cast it on a poison target, but it was going to 0.7, which was 28.6% of a difference, so 28.6% less damage from your main damaging skill, which is extremely painful. So that's uh, fixed, so maybe I'll try Cassiopeia again. Ezreal had some clunkiness, so less clunky. Uh, Garen, getting a Getting a cool kind of change here. His passive used to give him 0.4% of his max health per second at all levels, but now at level 16, it's going to be 2. So if you have, say, not, not very uncommon, 3,000 health Garen at level 16, you're going to be getting 60 health per second. That's 300 health per 5. You're basically the new and improved Mundo. But you can't throw cleavers, so no one wants to play you anyway. Um, and that cooldown um, before it can reactivate is a lot lower as well, so it's a lot more useful. Uh, Perseverance no longer removed by non-epic monsters at level eight, 11 and above. That's kind of confusing on the wording. I'm not sure if they mean champions by that. I'm sure it doesn't, because they would have said champions in there, but it's a little bit of a clunky wording. Maybe they should have buffed that with Ezreal. Uh, Heimer and Karma both can cast. Uh, Karma can cast her mantra. Heimer can cast their upgrade while CC'd. That way that you're not getting confused um, thinking that it's on, but not realizing you were CC'd while it happened. Also, it'll save some time as well. I've had a lot of times in my extensive Heimerdinger experience, which isn't that much, but where you would, um, with Karma as well, actually, where you would think that you had your uh, next ability buffed by the R of either one, and then you end up just shooting the ability, and in Karma's case, you shoot that ability, and now it's on cooldown. Heimer didn't really matter if you were dropping the, tur the big turret, because it would just let you drop the big turret. But that should be a nice quality of life. Um, LeBlanc's passive has made it a little bit more deceptive, longer invisibility duration, quality of life, that you can actually use it to juke sort of like a uh, Shaco clone. Um, more um, more jukiness, so that's kind of cool. And she can now go back to her pad 
um, of her W uh, one second longer, so it's four seconds instead of three. That'll make for a lot more jukes similar to Zed uh, shadow juking, which is really popular right now because Zed strong. Maokai got nerfed his damage on his ultimate, just the base damage, not the, uh, or it's, sorry, the stored damage, not the base damage. Got it backwards. But, so if you're just using it to pop on and off to farm a wave and not taking much damage, nothing really goes unchanged. Uh, the percentage damage reduction is still the same, so nothing really unchanged there. I think he's, I don't think this was the problem with Maokai, I, and I don't think it's going to change his um, pick priority at all in higher tier games. I still think Maokai's amazing. I think one thing they might have to do is add an internal cooldown to his passive, possibly, like Gregus passive. Only cast off one spell, mind you, but it's a lower amount and it has a little cooldown. Some, something like that, because Maokai still seems broken. Strut's no longer broken by non-damaging effects. I didn't even realize this, but even a Frozen Heart aura would break Misfortune's Strut. That must have sucked for those Misfortune mains, if there's any of you out there. Uh, Nautilus can now pull to the terrain, similar to how Poppy and uh, Vayne and Nar can all use it to stun people onto. That's pretty cool. Uh, it'll be nice. Not very many people play Nautilus anyway. Nidalee got um, some toning down here. Uh, base attack damage was uh, cut by 5. Going to hurt for harassing and lanes. Going to hurt for Sheen and Trinity Force as it goes off only base attack. Um, base attack speed was also hurt. So I find myself sometimes canceling autos that I think are going to go off because I'm just so used to her um, old attack speed. Mm, uh, the attack damage ratio on takedown got taken down. <laughs> And uh, the, the ability power ratio went up. So in regards to getting a Trinity Force, kind of balances itself out. Um, not completely, but you're going to get a little bit more from the AP of a Trinity Force, a little bit less from the AD. But if you're building like just one or two damage items and then tanky on Nidalee, it, it's there, but it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the pounce now goes to 1.5 seconds instead of 1. Um, a little bit of a change as well. It used to be if you swiped a hunted target, now it's on pounce, but it goes to 1.5. And it scales with cooldown reduction now, so it hurts earlier, but as you get cooldown reduction, if you get to 0.4 uh, um, of the cooldown off, 40%, it's actually a little bit of a buff. You don't really want to look at it that way because it's nerfed for so long in the early game that the 0.1 second cooldown uh, decrease later on isn't the most. And they removed the swipe, removing it, as I said before, and now it's on pounce. So if you miss your pounce, you're not going to get it reset, unfortunately, because it's not going to be off cooldown unless you kill a minion or something. Um, I'm not entirely sure that changed. It kind of makes her kit not tie together as well. I, I liked that every ability tied together before, but that's whatever. Um, little bit of um, quality of life buffs with Ramus, where if you uh, cancel uh, defensive ball curl um, with power ball or vice versa. Th they overlap each other, so he'll be tankier or have the um, ball curl not cancelled. That'll be nice for those who play Ramus. There's a bug with Sona. Him and Valor were shorter than intended, so that's fixed. Uh, Talon got some changes. Everyone's kind of hating on this, but um, they're taking silences off of what looks like all like the, the main mobile assassins. Like LeBlanc got it not too long ago. Uh, no longer silences on E, but it now slows them for 99% for 0.25 seconds, kind of similar to how Trundle's Bite slows for a very short time. It lets you get in a little bit um, of a, an extra auto, I guess. Um, new particles on his R to let you know that you're faster if you didn't realize so. And um, new um, animation on Q, which doesn't affect gameplay at all. Tristana, this isn't what they needed, but it's a good start. Uh, her ult was really short, making it super easy and unpunishing for her to just disengage if she has a massive knockback and a jump that resets. She's She just has everything on an AD carry. I can see why she's so strong right now. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be more changes to her in the future, because right now she's getting pretty much destroying worlds whenever she gets ahead. Uh, fix the bug where Steel Tempest cooldown was slightly too low when using the EQ combo. I didn't realize that. My brain's too slow, but I guess that's fixed. Uh, I've seen this in game. Uh, the visual effects of Hourglass have been increased by 50%. It's hilarious. I was playing Hecarim. I was getting ulted. I'm already a big character model, so it scales with my model. There's gigantic Hourglasses everywhere. I had no idea what was happening. So that's, that's nice. Um, it sucks, though, because the enemy team is going to be able to know if you're ulted as well, not just you. Uh, the tinting of the screen was pretty cool. 
so it's nice to I thought my video card was crashing the first time that I got ulted by Zillion but it was actually just the tinting of the, the screen going white bunch of uh, texture updates in preparation for the new map coming out uh, and sometime in the future elixirs um, and ickers on twisted tree line um, now scale with level which is pretty cool I don't know if they fixed the bug for those of you who don't know I th I think it's still there um, if you drink a blue pot on twisted tree line they nerfed it from 15% to 10% uh, CDR uh, you'll gain 10% CDR when you drink it but you'll lose 15 still as well so you'll be losing CDR by buying that item every time it wears out so you gotta be careful for that a um, little bit of uh, ranked update you won't lose as much in master tier there's been a lot of wonky stuff with LP loss and LP gain and um, just the way stuff feels. I know I had a Smurf that was playing with um, like top uh, 500 NA, and now that Smurf is playing with like Diamond Fours, but it's a Diamond One. So when it wins, it wins like eight, and when it loses, it loses like five million. And I have no idea what happened because nothing changed other than the master tier on that. Um, so it it's not the biggest issue in the world. I know some people have that problem on their main account, and I'm just saying that I know it exists. Um, respawn on Dominion, awesome. We don't really care about that. Uh, ranked inactivity, inactivity decay. Silver and gold players can no longer decay, so that'll be nice for people that are cheap gold. They don't have to worry about maintaining it, even though the, the season will be ending soon. There was a uh, bug that um, you could only do OQ with it one tier above or below yourself. That wasn't there anymore, so there's challenger players do OQing with silver players, and the system had no idea how to f handle it again and um, ranked restrictions if you have a chat ban at the end of the season you won't get your rewards play nicely uh, da, da, da. a bit of a change to pre-made to find friends faster or make new friends um, and then just some rather bug fixes rock shield no longer sh execute shackle boxes that's funny fixed a bug where acre of illumination was removing cooldown reduction before it wore off so maybe that maybe that's the fix that I was talking about on uh, twisted tree line we will see not entirely sure and um, just a couple other random bug fixes and the fanatic skins and that karma skin looks actually pretty nice as well so um, that's that's that for this ninja patch that snuck up on me so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, feel free to check out my links underneath in the description um, there's one in my stream I stream daily there and uh, my Facebook and you or this is YouTube Facebook and Twitter where I let you guys know when I'll be streaming and uh, any updates on anything to do with myself or the stream. So uh, feel free to check those out, and thanks for watching, guys.